Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. In today's video, we're going to be doing a farmhouse DIY with products that I purchased from Dollar Tree. The first project we're going to do is this really cute farmhouse shelf. And you're going to need three of these canvas plaques that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. You're also going to need these little hanging wires. They have them out right now in the spring section. And then I also grabbed some laminate paper that they have at Dollar Tree. I went with the darker color, but anything you wanted would work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull off these little hanging systems on the back of the plaques so I can put them together. So I'm gonna figure out which side it's going to fit together the best, and then I'm going to attach them all together. I'm gonna be using E6000 because it's a really strong glue, and I'm gonna put a good amount on there. And I'm just going to put glue on either side of the pictures to hold them all together. I'm I'm also going to be using some clips. I actually use paper clips, but you can use clamps or anything you have on hand to hold these in place for several hours, if not overnight. That will give the glue time to dry and really hold together before you continue on with your project. While everything is drying, you can work on your little hanging systems that go underneath these little brackets. And I'm just using Waverly white chalk paint. You can pick this up at Walmart. And I'm doing two coats of this chalk paint on my hanging system. Normally, I would go outside and spray paint, but the weather's been so cold here that it's just easier for me to go ahead and paint these inside. So I'm just going to do that with two coats and it looks just as good as spray paint. Next, I'm going to use Annie Sloan's dark wax to make these look a little bit more distressed. So all you need is just a soft rag and you're going to use a small amount and you're just going to put it on the edges and this is just going to really darken it up and make it look a little bit more antique and not so perfect. So you can do this a little or a lot. I don't put very much on there and I just kind of build it up slowly as I go, but it just kind of gives it an added look. If you don't have dark wax, you could always use like a brown paint and that would give the same effect as using the dark wax. So now that my um, shelf has had time to dry, I'm going to come in with the laminate and you just want to cut a piece that's long enough so it has enough room to cover the edges and then fold over into the back. So the first thing you wanna do is put it on the top of your shelf. So this paper from the Dollar Tree comes on and off pretty easily. So you just wanna smooth it down, get out any bubbles, and if you're having trouble with it, just pull the, pull the piece up and put it back down and just do it until you get it the way you like it to. And most of this paper comes up pretty easily. From there, you're gonna move down to the side. So you just wanna smooth the long ends first. And then I'm gonna flip it over to the back. After I get the long ends smoothed down the way that I want them, I'll come in and do the sides. And on the sides, I'm just gonna wrap it up like it's a present and just pull it up and hold it in place. Now, I will tell you that this didn't hold in place when I wrapped it around, so I did have to add some additional hot glue to hold that really secure in place, and I did that on all the sides. This is my new hot glue gun, you guys. I'm loving it. I'm gonna link it in the description box if you're interested, but it sits up so nicely on that stand, and it also has low and high heat setting. 
From there, I'm going to be putting in this cream ribbon. You can grab this at Dollar Tree in the floral section. I'm not gonna be putting on a ton of hot glue. I'm just gonna do tiny dots around the edge of it so that the glue doesn't seep through since that lace has some holes in it. And I'm just going to wrap it all the way around and I think this just gives it a little bit of that farmhouse touch to it. You could always skip this step, but I thought it gave it a little bit something extra. And on the back, I'm just going to trim it off. I'm not going all the way around. From there, I'm going to attach my bracket pieces to the back. And to attach these, I'm going to be using some E6000 as well as hot glue. And these aren't really going to support my shelf. When I attach my shelf to the wall, I'm going to attach it on the back of the shelf. So these are more of a decorative piece. Um, so I don't really need to screw these in place. I was concerned that I wanted my shelf to have a little bit of additional support. So I asked my husband if he would help me with that. So what we decided to do was just drill some holes in the side and then add in some screw anchors to the back to just really give it some additional support. We just put in one, but you could always put in two on either side. And this is just going to help that glue be a little bit more secure and hold in place. And then you can attach it to your wall. I'm loving this shelf. I think it's super adorable. Next, we're going to make this love sign, and these are out right now, these little cute love signs, so I'm just going to take off the ribbon on the back of it, and then I'm going to come in with that Waverly White chalk paint, and I'm going to give it two good coats. This is like a wood chipboard type material, and so many of you guys in our Facebook group have been doing fun projects with this. If you guys aren't a member of our Facebook group, you really Really need to be because everybody's posting really cool DIYs. So uh, the name of our Facebook group is My DIY Home Group. I will link it in the description box. If you would like to join, we'd love to have you. And everyone just shares their projects and what they're working on. So I am giving this two coats, making sure I get all the edges and all the sides and making sure I you know, allow time to dry in between. Next, I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of foam board that I had and I'm going to glue these moss sheets that they sell at Dollar Tree to it. And I'm using two moss sheets. The second one I'm going to trim down so it's the length of my foam board. Really simple. This little sign cost me $3 to make. To me, this sign looks pretty high end and I love the way it looks. I actually have it sitting in my front room and it just looks so cute right now. From there, all I'm going to do is just hot glue this to the greenery. Now, these moss sheets are kind of messy, but I don't think they're as messy as if you had all that loose moss, so it all works out. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments if you're loving this sign. I really like it and think it's super cute. Next, I'm going to make some cute candles. So I have these clear glass candle holders. I picked up two white candles from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to get another one of these moss sheets. I'm gonna to have to get some more of these. I'm already running out. And then I have jute twine that I picked up at Walmart. I had a thing of jute twine that literally lasted me like years. So I finally ran out. So if you grab one of these, it'll last you forever. So what I'm gonna be doing with these candle holders is I'm cutting the moss into one inch strips. So I'm gonna do four of those strips because it's gonna take me two to go around each of the candles. And I'm just going to hot glue them in place. 
And I put the candle inside just to kind of decide where I thought it would look nice to have these at. It's totally up to you. Um, I just kind of picked a spot that I thought was nice. And then when I do my second one, I'll just make sure I line them up so that they look even. From there, I'm gonna take my jute twine and just wrap it around and I'm just going to do a simple bow in the front. I decided that I wanted to add these to some candle holders, so I'm just hot gluing these on these white candle holders that they sell at Dollar Tree. And then from there, all you have to do is add in your candle. Our next project are these super inexpensive white pots. I found these cream colored pots and I didn't like the color, but I loved the design on them. They reminded me of the pots that I will buy for like $5 at Ikea, but for a dollar can't beat that. So I'm gonna use the Waverly chalk paint again and I'm gonna do two coats on all of these containers. Next, I'm gonna come in and wet distress. So to do that, you just wanna get a wet rag and you're going to be literally rubbing it like you would when you're sanding something. And that's gonna remove paint and it's gonna show that cream color underneath. You can do this as little or as much as you like. Next, I'm gonna use the Chevron ribbon that they sell at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be wrapping it around and hot gluing these in place. Now for a dollar plus the cost of the ribbon, this is a lot more inexpensive than it would be to buy those Ikea planters. I did go ahead and add the Ikea plants to it. You guys know I love these Ikea plants. I have them all over my house. These are fairly inexpensive, but I just think they look so adorable. And in a set of three, these would look great out on your dining table or on a shelf somewhere. Have you guys checked out my thrift store redo? If if not, I'm going to link it right here so you guys can see how I redid all of these really cool benches. So just click on the link here so you can watch that next. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.